Welcome to Knocker Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about a possible new villain in The Walking Dead. Are they hiding in the shadows? Ooh, that is a good intro. And guys, guess what? <laughs> This came off the top of his head. We don't have note cards. We don't have a screen protector where we have we're reading our words. No, we do this on the cuff. The, the, the lurking in the shadows coming? Yeah, that was sick. That was sick. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, that was awesome. So, yeah. guys, yeah, what we're talking about, let's go back to The Walking Dead Season 11. Oh, my God. The Commonwealth. Do you guys remember Designation 2? Ooh. So... Um, <laughs> no, I so guys, uh, I yeah. didn't, guys, until we talked about this off camera, by the way. Yeah, I, I so completely forgot about designation it. Designation two, um, we heard reference of this from Pamela Milton when Connie was captured. They were going to stick her on a train, and they basically said she's designated two. Um, they never complete, they never did anything further than that. We never heard anything more of that. Now, the other mystery side of this was with Lance Hornsby. Uh, we knew that Lance Hornsby kind of had his own secret group, but he said that there are, he knows powerful friends. Now, everyone, including us, all the YouTubers out there, everyone was assuming that he potentially could have had connections with we the CRM. We did a CRM. video on it. We did a video on it. It was yeah. a good video. But everyone was assuming, because CRM was the only other logical villain out there, big villain, that maybe Pamela and Lance had some type of connection with the CRM or just Lance. But there's theories out there now that I've seen that could make sense that it could be some other group unknown that they we don't were we're not aware of, and could it have any correlation with this designation two? Whether designation two mean means something or is part of a group, we don't know. Now, yet, designation but. two is different from the prison camps that our groups were in, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. So it's something completely different than that. It. Yeah. it, it really really sounded like it was someone else they did because why would you, know. you put them on a train and send them somewhere where are they going well th there were people put on trains and sent to camps true true yeah but <laughs> really, since connie was really since they physically said connie is designation two yeah. and they were going to physically send her somewhere it's like all right that's a little bit different but then we didn't get anything about it <laughs> <laughs> well because lance died Lance did die, yeah, and but they the never, governor was taken over. The governor was taken over, and they never mentioned it again. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. Um, the, the, yeah. the question that remains in my eyes is, you know, it, are we ever going to see them? Right? Like, where would they return? Right. Um, assuming that it's a villain, assuming that it, it that that we haven't seen them before, and that they were working with CRM. Like, our main show's gone. The only show that we have left yep. is Dead City, and Daryl Dixon, mm -hmm. um, unless a new show is created or whatever, yeah, no, it's been um, on for something. We yeah. we virtually you know may never ever see them again, right? Yeah, I you know we always had the thought that maybe potentially, like we said, Lance had some type of connection with the CRM. There were like I wouldn't say small hints to it, but there was just there was mystery surrounding Lance, and whenever he mentioned he knew he knew powerful people, we we're like, oh, powerful people. Oh, maybe it's a CRM. Maybe CRM is giving you supplies. You know, maybe they know of something. But and that's why we're always like, there's no way the CRM does not know of the Commonwealth. Like the Commonwealth's big. The CRM should know it. And in the end, the CRM would have known the Commonwealth because they're going to wipe them out. But yeah, this designation two is very intriguing just because it's it's left in a shroud of mystery. I have no idea what who it is. And there's just that lingering, uh, just that lingering thing out there from who Lance knew. Who were these people? Well, I mean, Gover Governor Milton could have simply had designation two, meaning we're going to take this person, put them on a train, and then execute them. Right. It could mean literally something or pointing to a, a potential or, or group. Or nothing. Or nothing or a potential group. Yeah, that's kind of what we're talking about. Yeah. What do you what do you think it is? What do you think designation two? Like designation two you, is a... It sounds more of a thing than... It, to me, it sounds like a location good you're gonna go to that location and yeah. then all of a sudden like if you and i were to go there we'd see just this pit of dead bodies probably yeah. <laughs> that's brutal <laughs> it's brutal yeah but designation two is you're you're exposed of yeah is that yeah 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 i mean you know yeah your designation two so yeah either you're going to a location or you're subject to 
experiments, kind of like an A B type situation. You know, A's mostly A's, but on the CRM side, yeah, I don't know. That's that's you know the only thing that uh, uh, that, that sticks out is the powerful friends comment, and you mm-hmm. know, again, that goes to what makes someone powerful in this universe, and that is someone that wields the power of a military. Um, so that's why we immediately went to, you know, the, the CRM. Everyone did. Everyone did. As far as you I know, know, I can't think of anything else that would make you more powerful than that. Yeah. Power of knowledge, power of, I mean, you sure. got, you got to think of the, I mean, think of the other villains that we're dealing with. Like in, you know, Daryl Dixon, we got the, the French villains who, you know, yeah, they're, they're doing it experiments with walkers turning these things into super walkers and variants we got dead city villains who in a way are kind of weird they were kind of going after this fart gas that they wanted and uh <laughs> i i'm gonna tell you it this didn't right really now. turn out to be anything it just made up hallucinate and go crazy but i'll tell you this villains. right now I, the, i'm not worried about the villains in dead city right locally the babylon vill- the babylon people are crazy though yeah but, but again that that is so small once you've seen a like villain a, like the crm it's like a negan governor yeah. style villain it's not like when you get to the point massive where you've on seen scale a crm and yeah. general beal mm-hmm. there's no one more powerful than that that's a massive unless there's villain. someone with that's bigger than that yeah with more resources right and we've seen some of those types of villains spread across all the shows you know smaller villains not huge numbers, you know. CRM is basically one of the only ones that have massive numbers in a sense. But um, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Designation Two. And that- it, it could be a place, but I, I'm really think there, there's something behind it with with Lance's powerful friends. I think there's something behind that. It could be two. Actually, here's the thing: it could be two separate things. Designation Two. Could be one thing that Pamela Milton knew of designation. Your designation too. You're either going here. You're slighted for to be killed. You know, ex- experimented on whatever. Then the other side of it is Lance's friend. So they could be the same, or they could be completely separate things. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Do you, you think know. CRM ruined? You know, the kind of. I don't want to say the show, right? But mm. but ruined the villain aspect of it, right? And where I'm going with it was I I enjoyed more knowing that our world wasn't as big as it is now mm-hmm. uh, from an aspect of like when you had a, a, a villain like Negan or the whisperers, even though they were small, like to us, that was big mm-hmm. because all we knew was this small world that we had and exactly. someone as ruthless as Negan absolutely is a threat mm-hmm. when you, span out and you see crm Mm -hmm. negan's a speck on their radar yeah it's kind of i I don't think we touched on that particular aspect of in our in our video when we were talking about was the crm storyline underwhelming but it kind of goes in part of it you know the crm was a massive group and with all our other villains that we knew from the the source material which fed into the show and there were some other villains that were in the show but not in the source material yeah, I mean, we're, we're dealing with the United States. We're dealing with a certain area. You know, we're the Walking Dead show was primarily in the in the South, Georgia, and on the East Coast. Then we get Fear the Walking Dead, which is on the West Coast, going down into Mexico. But it followed the same premises. It, it followed the same premises as regards to villains. We were you in a, an apocalyptic event. You're right. 90 some percent of things were wiped out Mm -hmm. there's not much left not much left that followed that same format it did and then you get to the crm and you could even make an argument the commonwealth as well Mm -hmm. yeah commonwealth things just changed it you didn't have that same feeling so like my point is is like these smaller villains like they were great at the time but Mm -hmm. they're just not as great anymore because there's something bigger out there but not yeah. anymore. Well, not anymore because CRM's eradicated. But I, I get which I get exactly what you're saying is like you know when we saw these you know these smaller villains, you know they they had power, they had people to influence that power and just overtake our groups, right? And then you see the CRM and they have, you know, well this, including the Civic Republic, they had over two hundred thousand people. The CRM had over two to five thousand troops. They have helicopters. They have firearms they have all this other stuff and you're like dude all these other smaller villains would have been wiped out like that yeah Yeah. (laughs) i mean one one great 
uh, you know, scene is the Negan helicopter scene. Yeah. Because you see this powerful villain that we've seen up to this point, mm -hmm. and here comes this helicopter. And he's like, and the what look the on fuck? his face. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? You know? And so, my, you know, when we talk about a designation too, I'm just not. You know, not seeing it as a huge yeah. group. And, and it does go back yeah. to my comment, I think, where in a previous video I said, I'm tired of the, here's our group. Oh, no, new season. Here's our villain. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it got old, it recycled after. And maybe that is, you know, a side conversation that's that's spawning off now from that. Mm -hmm. um, well, it, we also, well, what's really cool is that we get kind of with the, <clears throat> the information from Lance, we get kind of a spy aspect of it. Like he had, those were spies that he had infiltrated in the Commonwealth to feed information back to him, which then potentially fed back to whoever these important people are. Very similar to what the CRM did. The CRM, you know, General Bill mentioned, they put spies in those communities, more, more so to keep watch on those communities to make sure that they're not trying to do things that are outside of the echelon briefing in the CRM's plans. But that's why I find it very intriguing about this group, whether it's designation two if it's completely separate but the fact that we did not get anything more out of it is what's intriguing and also who lance was dealing with it would be cool if they had another spinoff going with that information okay crm is gone well, maybe it doesn't have to be maybe it doesn't you have know. to be maybe maybe designation two is a a group of beals that's still out there and still uh, bidding his work, right? No, I don't want that. It it sounds it it's Is it better than a new villain? It though? sounds predating I wouldn't say predating Beale, but it sounds I don't think Lance had any anything to do with like He doesn't have to know CRM. Though. He doesn't have to know. He doesn't have to know. But I kinda don't want well, I don't know if I would say I wouldn't want it to be. Like designation to a, a completely hidden subsect of the CRM that have their own ideas and own plans. And I'm not saying they have to but, have their own ideas. I'm just saying right. maybe it is a continuation of Beale's work that they're not done. In that the Beale's shadows. CRM is not over. Yeah. Um, it, that, to me, I, I'm just right. saying that's the only way that, you know, I can, I, I just, I keep going back to the aspect of like, let's assume designation two is a new villain, mm -hmm. right? Are they any worse or fear? Am I, am I going to fear them more than I'm going to fear Beale and CRM? Gotcha. Yeah. No. Actually, yeah. I'm sure somebody will say in the comments, well, wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be cool going off of your theory of Designation 2 was kind of still part of Beale's, you know, faction or something? Wouldn't it be kind of crazy if it was eventually Mason Beale leading the charge? Oh, dude, yeah. His son. <laughs> hey, you know, he's still out there, but he was, out there. he was soft, but, you know. <gasps> what if it's Silas? <laughs> Silas. What if it's he's Silas? He's turned evil. He's Silas and Heath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so I, I get what you're saying in a sense. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know if I mind. It, it gets kind of repetitive. Yeah, you have a new season, new villain. By the time the season's over, that villain's gone. Let's move on to the next. Yeah, it gets kind of boring in a sense. Um, I mean, we we dealt with it in The Walking yeah. Dead because it's a lot of it is from the source material that's how it was written you see it a lot in fear of the walking it Dead. got really old with the reapers dude oh the reapers were just terrible uh, you know <laughs> the reapers the, were terrible but it was the same shit yeah they they didn't flush the reapers out the storyline out properly it was all really more yeah. on leah and daryl but yeah that's i wanted the reapers to be badass like when they were showing like the shots of the reapers and like the tidbits were like, oh, this group looks. When they opened psycho, up that episode, dude. where like right off the bat, a couple of our people just got massacred. Oh, they got killed. That, that was that, when you're like, this group's hardcore. Okay, <laughs> and then they dug deeper into it, and you're like, what this group's lame. Well, this group is lame. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> who was uh, the main guy? The actor who played the main guy. What was his the name? The Pope. The Pope. Yeah, the Pope. The Pope marked you. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of scary to such a, like, who the hell's the Pope? Even that who gun, are these people? dude. Even the huge gun with the fireworks in it. Oh, that was sick. That was badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Reapers were not a good storyline. It, it was... No. That type of villain was terrible. But you know the worst <laughs> villain of all time in what? the Walking Dead universe? What? You know. 
The you, wolves? N- no, no. You know the worst villain of all time in the shows. But it's in, in, one, in all the shows. Well, it's in one particular show. Okay, which I'm, I already know where you're. I'm going. spanning across the lady with the stick. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the one lady in Fear the Walking Dead that was so bad. Dude, that was that was the worst. Not you're the gonna actress, tell me not the actress. No, 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 no. The character. You're gonna tell me one person. Yes, yes, <laughs> one person killing all these people. <laughs> Yeah, she was that that character was I just absolute, remember that was so tragic. I just remember watching that and like halfway <laughs> through the season I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What are we doing? Why is this one woman a, a hard time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So no, I, I get what you're saying, you know, that you don't want all these villains. I, I, would, I, would like mul- I would like multiple villains in one show. I just want a different type of show. And that's kind of yeah. what Daryl Dixon gave us up until, mm-hmm. you know, we mm-hmm. started getting the villain of that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, For sure. I get exactly what you, you know, mean. You know, it's just different. Yeah. Dead City was Dead City was that way. We, yeah. didn't, we, didn't, really, we yeah. didn't really know the magnitude of the villain in Dead City um, until we then saw the villain. But then we're like... Uh, they're not. I mean, they're not that Dead big silly, of a villain. Dead but there's City also reminds me more of gang war. Yeah, right. There's different factions now, which is cool the, in New York, which is cool. Is pretty cool. Then we get the Babylon piece of it. So there's really like two. There's two villains right now in Dead City: Babylon and uh, the you know, the group that Negan's taken over. But then there's other factions in New York that Negan's going to be dealing with. So that's what's going to make it even more interesting. Is that there are other groups that we're going to be dealing with and there's going to be heading on because they want the fart gas and uh, (laughs) (laughs) the fart gas the freaking methane gas is so weird but I I I I can't say for right now if the the whole designation two piece is going to be is one thing and the the group the these people these powerful people that Lance is talking about are separate or one and the same now in a way I don't care right now I just want them to, I want AMC to flush that out. You know, this is a cool idea. If if, if Lance was not talking about the CRM, then who are they? Yeah. But you're going to have to give details like, okay, has this group been around the entire time? Or only when maybe the Commonwealth area started to get bigger and around that timeline? Because if they've been around the whole time, then you're going to have to be like, okay, what have they been doing? Yeah. And... How have they grown this designation to or the secret, not the secret society or whatever group they are? What have they been doing? Where are they? You know, what, what, what was the importance that Lance knew these important people? What was Lance giving them and what was he getting in return? That's another question. So, I mean, he certainly wasn't getting any power. He didn't have any because power. Because he didn't have any power. He had no power, no I mean, leverage. He had Alexandria at one point. Yeah. Eh, you could make an argument. He probably didn't have that. So It was more just his own power because yeah. I think in the end, like Pamela didn't know what the hell he was doing. No. He was doing stuff in secret. Yeah. So. Which makes this designation to even more valuable or uh, even more of an argument because mm-hmm. Pamela didn't even know about Pamela it. Pamela didn't know well, about it. Well, she knew she said it though. That, she did say that that yes, me, yes, yes. You're makes right. Me re- that, that makes right. me think that they're both different. Separate, separate things. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Because Pamela, me- Pamela mentioned Designation 2. Yeah. Or actually, I'm sorry. I don't know if she said it or she overheard it on the radio. She she was aware of it. I think she overheard. She's marked Designation 2. So she knew of she, that. Yeah. But the Lance piece, no, she didn't know about. So yeah, I think you're right. I think there could be completely two separate things. But I'm more intrigued, especially with... The people that Lance was in contact with, I, I really want them to come up with something if they can. Um, I'm not sure what they could do. Uh, I mean, they could do. They actually, I'm sorry. Let's do a spinoff. There's there's a lot of people who want a spinoff with like Aaron and Father Gabriel. That would be cool. Mm. You know, do something with our with our normal cast living in where they are now. And l- unfortunately, it'd be something that you don't want. You don't want to start another <laughs> season with a new villain. But it could be this villain. It could be. I can't say it's the end game or anything because we thought basically CRM's the end game. As long as Rick's there, I'm good. Yeah, as long as Rick's there. But they could do something like that. Some type of story yeah. to really, truly kind of flesh it out. And like you said, maybe they could have been, this group could have been part of the CRM, kind of, and then they broke off and they're on their own thing. But could be Madame Maget. 
Could be a Madame, Madame Genet, Genet group from France. Maybe they have some sectors in the United States. They're traveling back um, to the United States. Yeah. Maybe it could be part of the Primrose <clears throat> team. Well, those other teams from France uh, that we've heard about in World Beyond. Maybe they, they're doing stuff in the United States. You know, shipping walkers for testing. You're, you, ooh, your mark designation too. You're going to become a super walker. <laughs> They're gonna super they're gonna inject you with that serum and you're gonna become a super walker. <laughs> that could be sick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All these variant walkers are now designation two walkers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's a cool idea. It's a cool thing to talk about. Let us know your thoughts, guys. Do you think designation two is just a thing? Another group? Or and a pit of dead bodies. And a pit of dead bodies. <laughs> 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 or part of what Lance's secret people are yeah. yeah let us know your thoughts any final thoughts on that no all no. right i think we're good guys we let you know what's going on you let us know what you're thinking it's a pit we want to know it's a pit <laughs> <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one we'll see you next time i'm jarell i'm josh we're not we're, we're out, out.